Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. We're going through each and every one of the Third Realm achievements, trying to get them all. And I did get three of the achievements that have to re-record because of the drive that I was using and I'm failing. So one of those was the Dith Martian Lessons of Hemmingstedt. I also need to redo the Riazin one because I don't think I uploaded that. I need to do Skolf. And then I need to do the Yuan one. Um, that one, Yuan, I have not completed yet. But the Riazin, um, I think it's Breaking the Oak, Skolf of Dovmont's own, I need to do. This one is one I definitely did not enjoy because it's taken about 12 restarts to do it the first time. And now, this is the fourth one today where I'm trying to go through and redo it. Because it's, it's a rough start. Let's just record right over that. So I'll go over what we need to accomplish and what our starting situation is and what I want to see in the world situation. So that gives you a sense of what to expect of your own run. Uh, might as well wait for the game to load. Sadly, we won't have the achievement tracker up here giving us any direction. As again, I already completed it. Probably have screenshots just mocking me about it. But that's it. No recordings any longer. I might as well go for this one. It's a long shot, but if we get it, then we get diplomatic reputation. Okay, so what's our situation? Uh, starting as Pskolf, we need to have 100 Streltsy units or more at one time. So that means that we need to be independent and we need to blob out quite a bit. Sadly, we start as a vassal of Muscovy. A respectable amount of liberty desire. We want to get that a little bit higher. Let's order a couple of troops, a couple of infantry, which will get us up to our force. Uh, we are a merchant republic. The Russian variant of Eche Republic. Meaning that we're limited by the number of states that we can have. Well, the number of provinces within states that we um to 20 or we start losing republican tradition so we generally advise getting rid of this government form so our goal is going to be to become a monarchy that way if we have 90 legitimacy and one stability we can become a russian principality which would still give us the option of using these interactions and getting Streltsy. So that's that's the goal. And I didn't do it that way the first time, but I probably should have. Uh, that's what I'm going to try this time, and that's what I'd advise you to try. So we are a merchant republic, and we get four merchants. However, most everything that would be useful to us is outside of our range at the start. The only four nodes that are within range are these four in this square. Crimea is out of range, Ostrakhan is out of range, Kazan is out of range. This one doesn't really hurt us, that's out of range. But that means we're going to collect here, because that's our main trade node. And here, because if we pushed, it would just send the money off somewhere else. We're going to collect here, and we're going to feed trade in there, and we're going to feed trade in there. Okay, we are going to pay our troops and pay our fort, because if war breaks out between Muscovy and Novgorod, Novgorod's first move is going to go west and stack wipe our army. Speaking of our army, it should be led by this guy. He is always a scripted 102 ruler, and I jokingly commented in the last game that his bad random trait 
um, is going to be different each time, but it's always going to be bad. And of course, we got another bad one. It's probably confirmation bias, um, but it's, it seemed to be bad. And it's sufficiently bad that I would put him in charge of your army. And then we want to make sure that we are friendly with everyone around us who could potentially help or hurt us, with one exception. So friendly with Denmark, friendly with the Livonian Order, friendly with Poland, friendly with the Lithuania. Let's actually set ourselves as hostile to the Teutonic Order and see if that makes Poland more likely to be friendly with us might it might make us a little less put ourselves as threatened by them as well because putting them as hostile is probably going to damage our relations with Livonian order but threatened might get us a little bit of consideration that wasn't the one exception I was thinking of but it'll work so all the step nomads friendly then the independent russian principalities friendly Novgorod friendly although uh, that's that's a problem that denmark is is their rival that might ruin the run in and of itself. We'll have to take a look at the situation. Okay, the one exception is we are going to put ourselves as threatened by Muscovy. And we are going to... Send off an insult to Muscovy. And let's just take a look at where we are in terms of... Okay, Novgorod would support our independence. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so that does give us 84 liberty desire, meaning that if Muscovy attacks somebody like Ryazan, we can declare independence. And we went to improve relations with Poland. And we'll just go through the list here. I think all of our fellow subjects here, they're all at minus 1,000 because they're loyal. I support independence, let's look at Lithuania. They're neutral towards Muscovy, apparently. Uh, Poland has been a thorn in my side on these runs because they've actually been friendly towards Muscovy every time I've done it today. Now at least they're neutral for the moment. That's really problematic if they're if they're friendly towards Muscovy. Okay, now our merchants are in place. Oh, let's shed our... Yeah, shed our... <laughs> let's set our focus on... On military. And let's keep an eye on who they ally. They have not yet allied Denmark, which is great. They haven't taken a mission. They do start with the core on Novgorod. They are rivals with the Muscovy, so as long as they don't fall under the Union, um, they wouldn't. Muscovy wouldn't get military access through them. France and England are at war. I really want Lithuania. So cancel that. I mean, the Diplo rep out of getting that would be nice. 
I'm hoping that Lithuania turns down the Union. And joins our side. Okay, they took a next Riazim. Now, if we could get a little bit more support. I've never had Novgorod support for independence. I'm not sure I actually even want it. It could be a deciding factor if we can get some of these others to flip over. I need to keep an eye on that neutral attitude. We need it to be more hostile than that. Okay, so all I'm waiting for now is to find out if Lithuania is going to join under a union or not. Okay, they're moving their troops up here. They're going to declare it. Lithuania took the mission to crush the Livonian order. Could we get them first? No. Sorry, I'm pausing and unpausing after the thing just like a day or two pass because I just need to keep a close eye on what's going on. Okay, they're going to Europe. Yeah, they're they're going in a position to attack Novgorod. How many trips does Novgorod have is the question. Twelve thousand. Well, I'm going to try this. I've never done it this way before, but my basic idea here is that I would like to use Novgorod as a shield against Muscovy just to slow them down. And this will prevent Muscovy from getting an ally like Denmark, so let's just declare it. We're going to need three more troops to get to our new force limit as an independent nation. So we're going to have to take out Lum. I don't know what to expect out of this. I honestly don't. And we're going to go for the defensive edict just in case they break three. Blech, break through, rather. And we're going to encourage Novgorod to fall back and work with us. Hopefully they won't have access through here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you see those forts? What rules don't apply to you? I just completely disregarding the fact that there's forts in the way there. There's a real fort there. There's a real fort there. Wow, that is cheap. Okay, that's a problem with this idea. But hopefully Novgorod will get here in time to bail us out. I doubt it, because I got two provinces to go. Got to hold out eight days with no morale. No, complete stack with. And then they're just going to. Yeah, that's dumb that uh, forts work that way. That they could just walk through that. Okay, Ryazin just sent us money, because apparently they don't like Muscovy either. Okay, so if you try this this way, make sure your troops are here, because then you should be protected. Assuming that Lithuania is hostile to Muscovy.
Okay, so my new strategy, buy time. Buy time, try to befriend. Now I've got, let's do this, just one more point, I guess, up to 100. Yeah, so keep your troops down here if you do it this way. Create an army, definitely. Okay, no longer need that. So now we're going to set our hopes on Poland. Local Nobel. Okay, so that at least ensures that Lithuania will remain a rival of Muscovy, and there's no access coming through there. So the question is, how long... Novgorod is going to be able to hold off. Okay, we've got high ore exhaustion. Let's wait till we buy this down just to make it cheaper. So we're missing a lot of stability. One more month. Exhaustion down, stability up. I do need to watch out, make sure that Novgorod doesn't get military access through here, but I think they're hostile towards each other, right? No, it's Denmark. And the Vonian Order that don't like them. Okay, so we created an army, that's good. Rival of a threat, Lithuania, definitely. We're already working on improving relations with them. Can't get any royal marriages because we're a republic, essentially a merchant republic. And we'll worry about that later. That's the least of my concerns. And I don't care what happens to Novgorod as long as the wall here of these three provinces remain in Novgorod's hands. Okay, we're going to wait for these troops, and hopefully they will help us eject this army from here. I lose the money. Ugh. Don't like seeing that at all. Not at all. And they have cavalry that we don't have. They don't have a, a leader. So if Novgorod would bring some troops over, we could try to eject them. But I don't, really don't want to feed them any war score. And again, we're trying to tank our Republican tradition. So I took the option we wouldn't normally take. Normally we'd want Republican tradition high. We do not want the guilds in charge. We want the aristocrats because we need that morale of armies. Aristocrats are back in charge. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. But I'm hoping that Novgorod pieces out and this wall remains intact. Okay, get locked in somewhere else. Not going to happen, but we're going for it anyway. It's risky, but... That fort falls, we have no security. That is the best defense that we have. Okay, we really need access west. Let's make sure that we have defense edict. I did put it on good. No. Okay, we'll be friends with them. 
Did I mention we're friendly with you? Did I mention that? We are. We're friendly with you. We're friends. I just didn't know it. Now we know. Give us access. Should have worked on that earlier. <sighs> Scary. Can't let them stack wipe our army or capture. Oh, that fort, man. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out, man. Okay. That was worth a shot. Okay, so what we need to do now is get that army off of our capital. I have to rely on mercs. I'm going to try getting these guys out in the field first, and hopefully this wall will re remain intact. Then all we have to do is defeat them once. To kick them off. I don't have a leader there. Wow, okay. That could really work for me. As long as this holds. We got 10 war score. We're holding on to our capital. Yeah, need to merc up a lot. We only need to win one battle. Maybe a second one to stack wipe them. Oh, I'm breaching those walls. Okay, so... 75 days. Can we wait 75 days? I don't think we can. We're going to merc up. Okay, so we need at least two more, but chances are actually more than that. Okay, come on, Marks. Let's get to 12. Okay. And then if we can get an advisor, Morale of Armies advisor, let's grab him. Then we'll have to probably debase currency and do all sorts of crazy stuff if we can win this, but... Ugh, I'm cracking those walls. So debase... And we can sort out the garrison, which will give us an extra 3,000. Domineering. Yeah, I don't like that. This quo, I can love with that. Keep getting these troops out there. Let's raise some more taxes. Keep working on that.
We'll just keep him there for now. Don't have any better options? We'll consolidate down the mercs and probably get rid of almost all of them after this battle. Okay, we're not at our maximum number of loans. Wait for the first of the month, start marching. Okay, let's grab that garrison if we can. Detach the mercs. Get rid of them. We have 40 war score. Really don't want to be bringing down the size of our army right now, but I mean, we're we're running out of money. Okay, let's boost that up. Enthusiasm went up to high. Largely because of our army. We can sort that issue out later. Let's just get some troops in the field. Okay, no longer in risk of a bankruptcy at the moment. Get this war exhaustion down. Our army is much tougher than it was a minute ago. 4,000 guys. Definitely don't want military access. We have 42 war score and it's climbing. <laughs> yeah, this is a rough start, man. <laughs> I just have to tell you guys. Okay, this guy was awful, so we don't want him. We want... A military candidate. And he's indulgent, but you know, it's just trade efficiency. It's not like we're a merchant republic that depends upon trade efficiency or anything. Let's not grab a general quite yet. Well, I guess we will. So we're not close to getting attack. And do we just try to save some cash? If they get access to there, we're dead anyway, so. Keep an eye. Wow, it's 40. Not sure if it was a good idea to get rid of all of our marks.
And maybe we should pay this. I'm not sure if that factors into our relative military strengths. I'll leave that guy there. You guessed it, base that currency. Could avoid bankruptcy. Hoping that now removing us from the list definitely definitely hurt the relative power of subjects to them. But we're gonna set this out. So if we can get rid of some more war exhaustion and get our stability up. Corruption's already 13, but I mean, who cares? That's not the biggest concern we have. That's... Oof. Don't like that at all. If we go bankrupt, there's no way that we can make them agree to peace. Okay, so that means turn that off. Stop paying our troops. Bankruptcy looming. Thirty-five, yeah, so it's not really affecting relative strength of alliances, so at least there's that. I don't know if we even have this. No, get out of there. Don't need you. Okay, Muscovy. Grant us our independence. Minus six reasons. If their enthusiasm drops to medium, which happens at 19, I believe. 1 through 20. Uh, 1 through. Yeah. 20 and above is high enthusiasm. Might happen at 20. Um, might be 1 through 20 is... If Burgundy dies, who does it go to? Austria. Not of great interest to us. Give us our independence. Thank you, do. That was mercantilism. Okay, we have max war score, so we're no longer making gains. Maximum number of loans. Hopefully, we can debase currents again. Well, we can in December. Gotta get rid of some more exhaustion and get our stability up. Okay. I think we're gonna get this. And we are independent. victory. Such an easy victory, too. Okay, we're at 34 minutes. So let's stop there. Thank you for watching.